in this class we are going to discuss binary division this is under binary arithmetic uh, now we will see what is meant by binary division binary division is also like normal division in decimal point of view but we are going to divide one binary number with another binary number that is the problem so here we uh, let me discuss about, uh, with an example that is divide 100110 binary by 100 binary so you have to divide this number with this number so here i am taking as it is for example uh, if you want to divide 12 with 4 what you are going to do is you are taking this 12 and you are taking this 4 like this and uh, uh, you are uh, taking uh, 4 will goes with uh, 3 uh, to form 12, uh, 4, 3 is 12 like this you are going to take the division process. So, in the same manner you are going to consider this binary division also. First of all I am considering uh, 10, triple 1, 0 like this and uh, by which we have to divide that I am taking here. So, here this is 4. So, how many digits you have to consider that is first of all important. So, for example, if you are considering only one digit. So, one digit this value is 1 up to one digit this value is 1 this 1 is less than 4. So, you need to consider second digit. So, if you considered 10. So, for example, you, when you are considering digit please uh, forget about the remaining digits to take the value for that digit. For example, if you are considering this single digit, you just forget about all these digits. That means, you have to keep in mind about this one only. So, 1 is less than 4, that is why you need to take extra digit. That means, you need to consider these two digits. If you consider these two digits, what is the value of 1 0? So, 1 0 value is 2. So, 2 is also less than 4. So, you need to consider another digit. So, here I am considering another digit. So, here I am considering another digit means, so the value may change 100. 0, 0. This will become 3 bit binary. So, if you are taking 10 that is 2 bit binary. So, in 10 the value of 1 is different, in 100 0, 0, the value of 1 is different. If the place value of 1 changes, definitely the value assigned to that 1 is also changes. So, now see here. Uh, for our convenience, I am taking 3 bits. Let me see here the value of this one now is 4. Now, this is equivalent to 4. Now, uh, we can perform division here. So, here how many times it will go in 4? Here also you are having 4. Here also you are having 4 means one time it will go. So, I am taking that 4 here. So, definitely the result is uh, subtraction result is 0 minus 0, 0, 0 minus 0, 0, 1 minus 1, 0. You got all zeros and uh, you have to take another bit here. I am taking another bit here. So, uh, here you are having left zeros. You can neglect that left zeros. When you are having right zeros only, this one is having value. When you added n number of zeros to this one to the left side, there is no change in value. When you are adding uh, zeros to the right of one, then place value of one is going to change. So, see here you can neglect these three zeros. Now, you are available with one now. So, here this one is again less than four. So, you need another bit, but you are already uh, down to one bit that means you are having only one chance to take one bit at a time. So, to take second bit you need to put 0 here and you can take this one. Now, see 1 1 what is the 1 1 value? 1 1 value means 3 but 3 is also less than 4. You need to consider another bit. So, to consider another bit we are not having chance in this step. So, that is why put 0 here and take this one also here. So, now you will see what is the value of 111. So, value of 111 is 7. If you are having any confusion to decode what is the value, you just take 2 powers. That is it. So, 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 square. How many number, uh, how many digits are there? That many 2 powers you just consider. 2 square means 4, 4 plus 2 plus 1. So, that is 7. So, the value here is 7. Now, this 7 is greater than 4. Now, you can perform the division. So, uh, how many times it will go? 4 will go from 7 is only one time. Again, I am taking 1 here and I am taking 100 here. 
Now perform uh, subtraction process 1 minus 0 is 1, 1 minus 0 is 1 and 1 minus 1 is 0. Left 0 we are go not going to consider. Now is there any other bits left that means 0 is left I am taking that 0 here. So in any step we are having elements of taking 1 bit to down. Uh, if you are going to take any extra bit you, you need to put 0 there and here you are having 110. This 110 value is 6. So 6 is greater than 4 definitely we can perform division. Now here 100 will go again one time. So 100 consider here 100 one time means 100. So 0 minus 0 0, 1 minus 0 1, 1 minus 1 0. See here if this uh, 100 is going to uh, consider uh, the again division because this 1 0 value is 2, this is less than 4, we are not going to consider this division. Now we will see for bits to down. Is there any bits to down? If you are not having any bits to down then you need to go for a decimal point. By putting decimal point you can put n number of zeros here. So I I taken 1 0 by taking a decimal point here. Whenever you are not having bits here then only you have to take decimal point. Like that I taken 1 0 by putting decimal point. Now this is equivalent to 4 again. 4 is equal to 4. Now can, uh, I can uh, perform division. So one time it will go. So like this now the final reminder is 0. Whenever you got reminder as 0 then you can stop the division process automatically. So now the result is division result you can take from here. So for this particular division the division result is 10011.1. So that means if you want to decode again so this is equivalent to 16 plus 2 plus 1. 16 plus 2 plus 1 means 19. 19 point this one is uh, so uh, here you need to take place values that means 19 plus uh, 1 into 2 inverse you have to consider 19 plus 1 into as this is binary 2 inverse place value you need to consider 19 plus so 2 inverse means 0.5 this is equal to 19.5. So the value of this binary is 78 when uh, this is uh, divided with 4 you are going to get 19.5. When you cross check it with decimal system also this is going to be correct. So the result of division of these two numbers is equivalent to 100.1.1. So in the same way we can perform any division.